Mango farmers in Embu's Karurumo area are cashing in on the efficiency of technology coupled with the power of numbers. They are collectively taking their fruits to a processing and aggregation center where they are undergoing value addition in large quantities. In their sliced chips, they are scattered under the cover of safety from not only the elements of the weather, but also post-harvest losses. It is estimated that of every 10 mangoes harvested, up to 5 are lost in the harvest period, and this is in Karurumo in Runyenges in the county of Embu. Research on solutions continues to be carried out at various institutions. However, even when there are groundbreaking breakthroughs, the researchers are accused of not breaking the ground with these solutions. 2014, we and we challenge them to call Lisa. How is it helping you? Why can't we transfer this technology to the land? In Karurumo, mango farmers have been enjoying the more profitable fruit of technology in form of a horticultural aggregation and processing center where the farmers bring their fruits where they are dried, stored, and processed using technology. The plant includes two solar-powered tunnel dryers, two brick coolers, a cool room and a charcoal cooler which can store the tons of fresh mangoes for over 45 days without them going bad. The cool room can take up to five tons of mangoes. Uh, the charcoal cooler can take up to four, three to four tons of mangoes. The brick cooler can take up to 1.5 tons of mangoes. So what you're saying is that in this center at any one time you can find up to close to 10 tons of mangoes. Aside from the post-harvest losses, another challenge that stares the farmers in the face is that of insufficient markets. So called lazima iwe iko, lazima u produce kwa ile market unajua nani utauzia. So called kila kitu, marketing. Without the market, we are doomed. Isn't it? Vitu yetu tunakuza, tunatumia pesa, tunueka inputs, alava kuna soko. The facility, which has been set up through the partnership of Karurumo Horticulture Self-Help Group, the University of Nairobi, and funded by the Rockefeller Foundation, holds potential to add value to more than just mangoes. The mangoes are just about to go out of season. What next? There's bananas, there's tomatoes. They can do, we see potential of even growing export crops like French beans. Cool beans, some would exclaim at such technology. However, it has not been widely adopted both in crop and scope. Dan Wangi, NTV Business.